Greetings Aeor's mobile family, I'm Charlie. Apple, a company that has sacrificed battery life for thinness for years, is taking a historic step back with its first foldable phone. New leaks suggest the iPhone Fold is being tested with a colossal battery ranging from 5,400 mAh to 5,800 mAh. This is the largest capacity of any current or previous iPhone. How did Apple manage to fit this huge battery despite its obsession with thinness? And how will this massive power push the fold ahead of its rivals? If you're ready, let's analyze Apple's secret battery priority and strategic compromises. Leaks suggest Apple will eventually settle on a capacity near the higher end of this testing range. This is a major jump from the iPhone 17 Pro Max's 5,088 mAh battery. Compared to rivals, the Pixel 10 Pro Fold's 5,015 mAh and the Samsung Z Fold 7's 4,400 mAh battery, Apple's Fold will instantly be positioned as the battery life champion. To achieve this, Apple is slimming down other key components while focusing on high-density battery cells. Battery life has clearly become a core priority for the company. Apple is making a major compromise in design philosophy to fit this enormous battery. There is consensus on the display sizes, 7.8 inches unfolded and 5.5 inches cover display. As part of the strategy to preserve precious internal space, the Fold is expected to use Side Touch ID instead of Face ID. This confirms Apple prioritized thinness and battery space over the complexity of the Face ID module. Connectivity and Power The device will use Apple's self-developed second-generation C2 modem, but will lack a physical SIM card slot, reinforcing Apple's commitment to its own hardware ecosystem. The Fold is expected to come with four cameras, one front, one inner, possibly underscreen, and two rear cameras. The telephoto lens is rumored to be missing from the rear. Launch timeline. Barring any unexpected delays, the foldable iPhone is expected to launch in the fall of 2026, alongside the iPhone 18 Pro models. Keep in mind that every feature, or lack thereof, of such an expensive device estimated $2,000, will be intensely scrutinized. When it launches in fall the 2026, its success will entirely depend on how smooth that large 7.8-inch inner screen feels. Now, here's the critical question. Was Apple's battery move worth sacrificing the telephoto lens? Or is battery life the absolute priority in a foldable device? Let's put this topic on the table in the comments section. 